Hi everyone, a big welcome or welcome back to my channel. So you may already know or you may be surprised to know that a large chunk of my reading is done through audiobooks. I love audiobooks. I am a big fan. I love listening to old favourites on audio. I love listening to non-fiction on audio. I love reading books with mixed media and big casts on audio. I listen when I'm doing housework. I listen when I'm driving. I listen when I'm in the bath. I mainly listen to audiobooks on BorrowBox, which is my local library's audiobook and ebook app. It's amazing. The library of audiobooks is huge and it's constantly being updated with brand new titles. I check it all the time. I get myself on those wait lists. Go and get your library audio app if you haven't already. I also use Scribd for audiobooks occasionally and sometimes Audible if I can't find the audiobook anywhere else. And I also sometimes review new audiobooks on NetGalley as well. So today I wanted to share with you five audiobooks that I have read and loved recently. They're amazing books anyway, but I would highly recommend listening to the audiobook specifically. We have literary fiction to talk about, romance and a classic. Please chat to me about audiobooks down below in the comments. I love chatting about audiobooks. <laughs> Let's get into the recommendations. First up we have Penance by Eliza Clark. This is a contemporary literary novel set in a small seaside town. It is told from the perspective of a journalist as he constructs the definitive account of the murder of a 16 year old girl by three other teenage girls one decade after the fact. This book is so inventive and fresh. It is comprised of interviews with various characters, historical research, correspondence with the killers themselves. It explores the true crime moment, the internet and fandoms, toxic female friendship. It is riveting and addictive and totally page turning. It really felt to me like a unique book and reading experience. This multimedia format to the book really works on audio. It is so fun and engaging. I just love this book. If you're looking for something a bit different and you enjoy playful audiobooks, then definitely check this out. Next up, we have The Caretaker by Ron Rash. This is a historical literary novel set in the 1950s in North Carolina. It follows Blackburn, a caretaker at a local cemetery, whose life has been irrevocably changed by a childhood case of polio. When his only and best friend goes to fight in the Korean War, Blackburn is charged with taking care of his pregnant wife. Naomi is poor, uneducated and casted out by the community and the two characters grow closer together until a shattering development changes all of their lives. This is a quiet, understated novel exploring love and duty and family. It is completely transportative. You really feel as though you are living in these pages with these characters. The prose is beautiful and it is beautifully read on audio. Nothing is overly detailed but everything feels so authentic and perfectly placed. This is stunning, so quiet but sweeping. It's one of my favourite reads so far this year. I can't recommend it more highly. Next up we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The beloved Elizabethan satirical social drama and Regency romance. This novel tells the story of the five Bennet sisters when the wealthy Mr Bingley and Mr Darcy come to town and Mrs Bennet determines to marry her daughters off. This book doesn't really need an introduction. We all know it's basically perfect. I have read this a few times over the years and I recently re-listened to it on audiobook. The Rosamund Pike version of this audiobook is so wonderful. She reads it perfectly. She really understands the humour, the sass 
the drama of Jane Austen, I feel. Her reading of it is just so much fun. So just your timely reminder that this book is amazing. And if you haven't listened to the Rosamund Pike audiobook yet, you need to. Next up is The Wake Up Call by Beth O'Leary. This is a contemporary enemies to lovers romance. It follows Izzy and Lucas, two employees of the Forest Manor Hotel, when they are told that the hotel will not be able to stay afloat beyond Christmas. By returning the engagement rings found in lost property, Izzy and Lucas must work together to save the hotel and try and keep their hearts intact as they do so. Beth O'Leary is my queen of romance novels and this one is up there with her best. The plot is sweet and intriguing and perfectly placed, filled with a gorgeous sense of community and the messiness of people's lives. The main characters are so good so spunky and immovable and endearing. Their dialogue is funny and sexy and smart and really, really sparky. The audiobook of this is just brilliant. Go and listen to it if you want a good time. Lucas's voice in particular with his Brazilian accent is so good. And finally, today we have Prima Facie by Susie Miller. This is a new literary novel following a brilliant female criminal defence lawyer who, when she is raped by a male colleague, must partake in the system which she has dedicated her life to from the other side. This is a new novelization of the recent popular play starring Jodie Comer. I listened to the audiobook on NetGalley recently and totally loved it. This is a brilliant character study, the voice of northern, working class rooted, turned Cambridge graduate and exceptional barrister Tessa, coming through so strongly right from the start. Jodie Comer actually narrates this audiobook as well, and that was an exceptional choice. You can just tell that she knows this character inside out. This is scathing and complicated, and heart-wrenching and tender. If the audiobook really brings this one to life, big recommend. So there we go. Those were five audiobooks that I have recently listened to and absolutely loved. I would love to chat to you about audiobooks down below. Let me know if you're a big audiobook listener and how much of your reading is done via audiobook. Give me your recommendations, tell me your thoughts on these books. I look forward to chatting and I will see you in another video really, really soon. Bye guys.